well, kids. Today is a very special day. It's Halloween. Phoebe, do you have your costume ready? No? Still no costume? We need to fix that. Sure, there has to be something inside that closet to dress up Phoebe and Groovy. <laughs> what is that? Is someone there? Mom and Dad. Lucky you. They've brought you new Halloween costumes. Children, what do you think Phoebe and Groovy will be wearing? Whoa, your costumes are awesome! What a clumsy fall, Groovy! Be careful! Look how many kids have costumes! So fun! Are we going to ask for candies too? Cool! Hey kids, do you know what you have to say now? Exactly! Trick or treat! Great! They've given you lots of candies! <laughs> Groovy doesn't like them though! He likes broccoli more! Hmm, Groovy! Where are you taking us? This house is a bit far away! I think we'd better come back. <coughs> Groovy! Don't enter inside! Watch out! Bump. That cat is like a watchdog. Oh, it's a house of a witch. Oh, thank God. It's just a granny. Groovy, you don't have any costume. Transform into something for the trick or treat. Trick or treat. Groovy has gotten away with it. He's pigging out on broccoli. Remember, kids, if you do not want to have your belly hurt afterwards, do not eat all the goodies at once. Happy Halloween. Watch your manners. There are kids watching. <laughs> what a cool costume. Halloween is super fun. Kids dress up to get candy. But Groovy, you don't need a costume. You can't... <laughs> Isn't it easier if you just transform? <laughs> Groovy, your costume is awesome. Are you ready for a super fun Halloween night? We are curious to see how the other kids have dressed up. Hey! Where are the kids? What happened? No footprints? Nothing? How is that possible? Groovy, 
Why don't we get a better look to see where the other kids could be? Kids, do you remember that bird from the park? I'm sure Groovy does too. It's almost pooped on him. Catch him! To be continued. Groovy, are you okay? Shh, hey kids. See how fast we can cure him. Groovy, do you want a piece of broccoli? Never fails, kids. <laughs> Vegetables cure everything. Groovy, why don't you transform into a bird, but much bigger? That way, Phoebe can get on you and help you find out what is going on. Fly, Groovy! There they are. <laughs> That's weird. What are they looking at? Oh no! Is that a witch? She has put everything under a spell. Kids, if Groovy transforms into a witch, he will be able to break the spell and transform her into a pig. What do you think? Scare to make her go away and never come back. Frankenstein, Joker, Michael Jackson, a mouse. Wait, a mouse. That's it. Witches are scared of little mouses. Groovy, transform into the biggest mouse you can. Bigger, Groovy. Bigger. It's a beautiful day to play at the beach. Look, that little girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball. not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish, haven't you seen a little mermaid by any chance? <laughs> Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! Calm. 
I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? They do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a... A treasure! Whoa! <coughs> Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. <coughs> yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. Haha, <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. I love diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes. Look, a starfish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark! Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission, finding the shark family. Wow, a clownfish. Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish and a turtle. Haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? <laughs> Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm, they seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster.
Good job, kids. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learned today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. Great, surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for a third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids. Oh, a giant wave. What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know! Groovy can help us! Mm. 
What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ha ah, Groovy, your cat noir one is awesome too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more, almost. Careful, Phoebe, no. Groovy, help her. Cristiano! Haha, <laughs> well done, Groovy. Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then? Beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. What a beautiful day to build a sandcastle. Wow, what a beautiful butterfly. And it's red. Be careful, Groovy. Oh, Groovy, you've crushed Phoebe's castle. And it was so beautiful. Phoebe, don't be angry. It was an accident. Why don't we make a super castle? More beautiful and much bigger. Pops, can you help me with the construction plans? Look, this is the castle we're going to build. Isn't it cool? Although it seems like a big castle, it's made of three very simple figures. The base is a rectangle. It has four sides, two shorter and two longer. The towers are squares with four sides with the same length. And the roofs are triangles. They only have three sides. 
Groovy, do you dare to make this castle? Let's go! According to Pop's plans, the first thing we have to build is a big rectangle. Which one of these molds is a rectangle? Children, can you help Phoebe and Groovy? Very well, children. That is a rectangle. Your fire truck toy also has rectangular shape. According to Pops, now we need squares. Which one of these molds is a square? Children, can you help us? Very well, children. That is a square. The dices also are squares. Now, it's very easy. There's only one mold left. The one shaped like a triangle. The triangles have the same shape of the musical instruments, also called triangles. <laughs> it's easy to remember the name, isn't it? Great, we finished the Super Sand Castle. Groovy, please stop playing. <laughs> You're gonna make it rain. Uh-oh. It's going to rain soon, and it will ruin the castle. We have to do something. I know. Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to save the castle? A money box? A stop signal? Or a sunshade? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a sunshade to save the castle. Great, Groovy. You saved the castle, and also Phoebe and Pops didn't get wet. Bye, Cloud. Bye. Well, now they are getting wet, Groovy. Children, do we continue building castles with shapes? Yay! Children, can you help us match every toy with its shape? What shape does this truck have? A rectangle. Good. And this dice? A square. Good. And this triangle? This is easy, isn't it? The musical instrument, also called a triangle. <laughs> no, Groovy, not again, please. <laughs> Welcome to Groovy the Martian Costume Show. As judges, we have Miss Phoebe, Mr. Fluffy, Sir Honey. We can't wait to see what costumes you're going to surprise us with, Groovy. Ready? <laughs> oh, wow, Groovy. <laughs> what a cool lion. Let's see what score the judges have for you. Hmm, we have a three, a five, and a zero? Wow, honey comes stomping, Groovy. Let's continue with the second costume of the night. Ha <laughs> ha, Groovy. 
I think you made a mess with Toy Story characters. Let's see what our judges have to say. Hmm, Groovy, we didn't increase the score. Third and last chance. Do you have any super costume in mind? Wow, it's amazing! The judges love it! All of them! What a beautiful day to play on the swing! Wow, Phoebe knows how to swing by herself! Groovy, why don't you try? It looks like fun! Come on! Ah, really good! Wait, what's that? It's a mole! Where is he going? To his house? Let's learn about animal homes. Does the mole live inside a bush? <laughs> no, it was just a snail. They live inside their shells, so they're carrying their own house around. And look over there, a spider. They make spider webs to live in, and also to catch their prey. Let's continue our way to the mole's house. Look, kids, a frog. Frogs live in ponds. So fun. Kids, look at that. The dirt road ends in that hole. That must be his house. Groovy, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like? Moles dig burrows that are connected by tunnels. That's why they can appear anywhere in your garden. Wow, it's huge! Pops, where are you going? Look what he's found. A baby bird is about to be born. Oh no, it's going to fall! Thank God you caught it! How is it? Hi, little bird. Oh, it can't fly yet. It's just a baby. We have to help him go home. Do you know where it lives? Birds live inside a nest. They build their nest over the trees. But its nest is too high. How can we get over them? What should Groovy transform into to help that little bird? A hula hoop? A camera? Or a fire truck? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a fire truck. Really good, Groovy. It's almost there. Welcome home, little bird. Hey, kids, do you want to play a game? Where do animals live? Look, these are the animals we found. A mole, a snail, a spider, a frog, and a bird. Do you know where they all live? 
Where does the mole live? In a burrow, a shell, a spider web, a pond, or a nest? Really good. Moles live inside burrows. Where does the bird live? In a shell, a spider web, a pond, or a nest? That's it. Birds live in a nest over the trees. And the snail? Where does it live? In a shell, a spider web, or a pond? Right, snails live inside their shells. What about the frog? Where does it live? In a spider web or a pond? That's right, frogs live in ponds. There's only one animal left, the spider. And sure, spiders live in spider webs. Let's go through them all again. Moles live inside burrows. Birds live in nests over the trees. Snails live inside their shells. Frogs live in ponds. And spiders live in spider webs. Really good!
Eating sugar No papa Telling lies No papa Open your mouth Johnny, Johnny Yes, Papa Eating sugar No, Papa Telling lies No, Papa Open your mouth trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids. Groovy the Martian, official channel.